of organization says the best way to avoid being infected with Zika virus is to prevent mosquito bites. Health officials from the U.S., Brazil, and other affected countries have told members of the United Nations Economic and Social Council that worldwide efforts are focused on surveillance, response, and research. Here is VOA's Latika Hook. Health officials say that Zika is not a new virus. It was discovered in 1947 in Uganda and has not affected humans until the 1960s. The symptoms it caused were often mistaken for dengue or chikungunya, but a large number of infections since last year has revealed new manifestations of the virus. The situation is rapidly changing, uh, as everyone uh, is probably aware, and as a result, we're learning about Zika on an almost daily basis. More research is needed to determine if Zika may cause serious birth defects such as microcephaly or abnormally small heads in babies and neurological and other diseases. Officials say for now they're focusing their efforts on cutting down mosquito populations and educating people on how to protect themselves. A delegate from Haiti expressed concern that Zika virus may have a devastating effect on his impoverished country. In terms of funding, we have a bit of an emergency seeing as this is, we're coming towards the end of the dry season. And while there haven't been very many reported infections, we believe that with the rainy season starting as early as next month, we are probably going to see a lot more uh, infection from the Zika virus and indeed other mosquito-borne uh, diseases. The World Health Organization estimates it will cost $53 million to address the situation worldwide. On the research and development, uh, there are a couple of uh, directions also where we are working. On the vaccine development, we are mapping current efforts on development of the candidate vaccines. It will still take some months before we are going to have the vaccine, but uh, the work is quite advanced already by two manufacturers. Research is also underway to develop a genetically modified male mosquito that will produce weak larvae when mating with wild female mosquitoes. That would significantly reduce the mosquito population. Slaritza Hoke, VOA News, Washington. And that's our Africa Health Report for today. Vincent? Well, you know, thanks a lot. And be sure to watch uh, Lino Mudu's Health Report every Tuesday and Thursday right here on Africa 54.